Well, it's another day of discovery here on the Phoenix Protocol. Uh, today, I'm going to extend another video about the Smart Carno and the idea that you need meat because it's the best thing to eat. And I want you to look at this chart because years ago I put this together because the idea was maybe there's a way to mix all these nuts together in some combination to imitate the kind of proteins you'll get in meat. And if you look at the chart, you'll see that all these Brazil nuts and pecans and black walnuts and English walnuts and cashews and almonds, and pistachios and hazelnuts all have a lot of amino acids. Very different in each one of them. They have a different complement of amino acids. And if you look at the purple bands in there, I try to put the highest levels of those nuts with the highest levels closest to beef together to try and see if there was a way that I could blend some of these nuts together to make a beef replacement. And sure enough, you kind of can get there. But the problem is the fly in the Vaseline. It's the omega-3s and omega-6s that are drastically different in nut proteins and animal proteins. And as you can see in this chart, your omega-3s and omega-6s are horrendous in the nuts. Brazil nuts, you've got 18 milligrams of omega-3, 20,564 milligrams of omega-6. Walnuts a little better, it's about 3 to 1. English walnuts, you've got 10,623 milligrams of omega-3 and 44,567 milligrams of omega-6. It just goes on and on and on. Like, And then, if you compare the omega-3s and omega-6s in beef, it's a completely different story, although it is modified by the kind of grains they feed CAFO cows. Grain fed beef, 10 milligrams of omega 3, 300 milligrams of omega 6. Grass fed beef, 23 milligrams of omega 3, 90 milligrams of omega 6. So you can see the balance is a lot better. You don't have as much because you're not eating oils. You are getting oils in the animal fat and in the animal tissue, but the animal is not providing these damaging oils. And why is that important? Well, because omega 3 and omega 6 are anti-inflammatory and pro-inflammatory. And at certain times when you're ill, you want to have an infl inflammation response because it's actually healthy. That's why they say you need three, six, and nine omega fatty acids. But when you get too much omega-6, it confounds the lipid layers in the mitochondria. It's pro-inflammatory. It causes oxidative stress and damage. It hurts your mitochondria, which hurts your energy and hurts your survivability. And the one thing this particular channel is all about is longevity. You know, we're trying to live longer, and you not live longer if you get hurting the mitochondria that gives you the life force to keep going on. This is a situation where we've eaten just about everything, and it's not bad to eat nuts. You eat a few nuts, like a little bit of a handful, not even a full handful of nuts, every now and then. In fact, if you didn't get shelled nuts and you had to shell the nuts, you did a lot less nuts. So this whole shelling thing where you can go to the, go to the bulk aisle and just get bags and bags of nuts, you, it tends to favor eating too much of these things. And there are too much uh, omega-6 in these nuts. I know, walnuts, sure, they're good, but still it comes with a lot of omega-6. Uh, omega so my idea here is to just, you know, eat like we are. We are an apex omnivore predator. I talk about this in Neogenesis, and I truly believe it. We've survived geomagnetic storms. We've survived huge magnetic excursions. We've survived Micronova, we've survived floods, tsunamis, volcanoes, all this stuff that has pretty much wiped out a lot of these species on this planet, we're still here, which means we can eat just about anything because you have to eat to stay alive. We come up with all these great abilities, like during fasting they're turned on to like flush the system, clean the toxins out, you know, increase your NAD levels, all the, all, increase your, bi, your uh, mitochondrial biogenesis to make more mitochondria. It's really a fascinating thing, what dry fasting could do mated with neogenesis. If you eat right and you fast once a year or two, you're going to end up living a lot longer and a lot healthier. And that's what this is all about. You know, I'm your intrepid explorer on this. I've been through a lot of this stuff and it's been a lot. I mean, I question everything and we have to question everything because there's a whole industry built up right now, this green industry that wants to make you eat bugs and crickets and worms and not beef. And you have huge industrialists buying up all this farmland so that you can't grow cattle. I mean, we see it. We know what's going on. There will come a time we might have to act on it. But right now, act with your pocketbook. Act with what you purchase. Act with what you eat. Eat less nuts. Eat more meat. And like I said yesterday, not tons of meat. 
you know, you can eat tons and tons and tons of meat and you'll still gain weight if you're not working it off and burning it off and out in the sun and working on your garden or working in a gym, whatever. It's important to realize that we are an apex omnivore predator. We're designed to eat anything. We're designed to survive. We have these evolved systems that allow us to go into an autophagic state to clean out our cells and get out the toxins and get rid of the garbage that accumulates that you can't get rid of during sleep because it's not long enough. And that's who we are. We are a species that has never really come into bloom yet. We get pretty smart, but by the time we get really, really smart, we end up falling apart. I want to stop that. I want to stop that so that we stop falling apart after we get really, really intelligent and then see what happens. Maybe we never really bloom. You know, maybe we haven't because of this. Maybe it takes 150 years to get to the point where we can evolve into a different mental state. We don't know. I'm trying to do that. And I hope you, you know, understand what it is I'm doing here. This is not just for fasting. It's not just for eating right. Those are all great things. This is for life extension, radical life extension. And that's why I'm here. And that's why I'm doing this stuff. Anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow and, or in the next video. And hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Please share this with other people that need to know what we're trying to show people on this channel. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.